If you kill 14 students, you will get a spacious single room and a private bathroom while sharing a kitchen with a dozen of your neighbors. Whether you will spend your time in the library, on the rock wall, or in the prison's recording studio launching your rap career is yet to be seen. But if you lose your job and have no other means to pay the rent, you get to stay on the streets and hope you will find something to eat. Whether you're boiling hot or freezing cold, in light rain or a hailstorm, you will have no shelter to protect you from the reality of nature. Jay, we're here in Cleveland, Ohio. You're homeless. Yes, sir. Tell me about it. It's extremely difficult these days. Uh, like many other people, I lost my job. My home was foreclosed. I wound up being homeless about two years now. There are groups, support groups, that will help you with certain things, but it's like you get to run around everywhere you go. See this guy, see this guy, see that guy. I would like to see if possible that these services and things that are available could be condensed into one central group, one bureau, or whatever you might call it, where you could go to get whatever need you you have to a certain place, not be running over here for this, over there for that, back here for this, come back Tuesday, come back Friday. You spend your time spinning your wheels, not getting what you need. How do you survive? I survive with a little bit of help from food stamps and a few friends that I have helping me here and there, shelters, churches that are nice enough, like this one centrally here, uh, provides you at least a good meal on the weekend, and just faith, and just keep trying. You may not even be able to get food from other people in some places, since feeding homeless people has incredibly been declared illegal in many cities in the United States. This is the cruel reality we currently live in. An estimated 100 million people are homeless worldwide. That is about the same size in population as Mexico or Japan or almost double the entire population of the United Kingdom, Italy or France. There are roughly 10 times more homeless people than there are total Greeks in the world. If we were to build a country just for homeless people, it would become the 13th largest country in the world. In striking contrast, there are currently about 10 million people in jails, a much smaller number. In other words, homelessness is a 10 times larger world problem than crime. So consider this, 10 million people are provided a room to stay in, food and clothes, many have access to healthcare and education, and sometimes even the internet, television, recreational areas and much more. These 10 million people are provided with all of that just because they committed a crime. Many of these prisoners are people who have killed other people, stolen from other people, damaged property, or in other cases have impoverished millions of others. On the other hand, 100 million homeless people struggle to survive from one day to the next just because they couldn't fit into a corrupt and unequal system. You see a big house, maybe somebody coming, maybe killing me. I'm coming 12 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock, because I know after maybe nobody coming. And 6 o'clock I'm up and go. Water and food? food uh... On the back, I wash. I have. You see this? I see it this way. I see it this way. And after doing a uh, door close like this. Yeah. And this one I put. One second. I'm sure. 
and put like this. And another door is, look, we can do another door. After this one, maybe somebody like kill me. And I sleep like this. I have one back as well. And put like this. I'm sleep like this. Is England uh, seven years and sleep on the street. Somebody say me and help you. A lot of help you. After somebody say me too much help me. I'm seven years on the street. Nobody help me never. I don't believe this one. Many homeless people intentionally commit small crimes to go to jail because it is much better there than on the streets. For many in this world, being in prison is an advantage. Normal prisons sometimes provide better comfort than many schools, hospitals or houses and it is far better to stay in such conditions than on the streets starving and freezing. If I were homeless, I may commit crimes only to stay in jail. There also exist luxurious prisons that offer tennis, fishing, horseback riding, opportunities for learning, comfortable rooms, job skill training, air conditioning, refrigerators, karaoke machines, private bathrooms with showers, laundry machines, small conference rooms, gyms, state-of-the-art kitchens, TVs, the internet, libraries, recording studios, hours of recreation, singing and dancing, jogging trails and much more. Úgy kerültem teljesen, úgy éreztem magam, mintha álmodna az ember, vagy valami, tehát <gül> mondjuk először ugye még a másik házban voltam, tehát onnan nem volt a legjobb kilátás, viszont ugye amikor lekerültem a, a Blues House-ba, tehát akkor, akkor ugye látod minden este ugye a másik oldalon a házakat, tehát ahogy világítanak a, a lámpák, minden, tehát ez teljesen csodálatos, csodálatos élmény, még sokan mit gyerek is még jönnek hozzám, tehát, Beszélgetünk, mindig kinézek az ablakon, úgy este felé, akkor látják, ú, milyen jó kilátásod van át, igen. Some inmates can stay in freestanding two-story homes and spend time with their families or live alone. And in some prisons, children can live with their incarcerated parents, as long as the inmates are present at morning and evening roll call. És ugye, amikor ide jöttem, ugye akkor teljesen furcsa volt az egész, mert ugye ez tehát még szabadabb, tehát ez majdnem olyan, mint hogyha jó, hogy otthonra egy kis faluból származom, tehát majdnem olyan volt, mintha otthon lennék. Ugye az ember sokkal jobban alszik, ugye, amikor nem arra ébredsz reggel, hogy nyitják az ajtót, tehát az a kurzörgés, meg ilyenek, hanem ugye én saját magam ki tudom nyitni akarom, <gül> tehát sokkal jobb érzés volt. Mert ugye ez sokkal közelebb van a valós, élethez, ami van kint, tehát mint az árbörtön. In 2011, the Geneva prison had more than 40 million dollars pumped into a new wing and refurbishments. The spacious triple occupancy cells each include a bathroom and could pass for a typical UCLA dorm room. It is true that there is a fee to pay for being incarcerated in one of these luxury prisons, but a few bucks a day to live in such luxurious places after you raped and killed three, four kids is not much. And you can pay the fee by working online from inside the prison. I am not suggesting that criminals should be treated in an inhumane manner, not at all, but I want to emphasize how unfair and unsound our way of running society has become. Instead of us caring for those suffering from need, we create comfort for those suffering from greed. Poland is war, I know have family. Poland is war, I'm asleep on the street. Poland five years, England seven years. Twelve years. I have brother is London and him uh, doing crack. I know like him.
This is my hope. Just me, only me, sleep this way. I'm scared maybe somebody coming because downstairs somebody drugs. I know like that. For me, life is very, very heavy. Billions of dollars are spent each year for this system of incarceration. Instead, imagine investing that towards keeping people from committing crimes by simply providing them with what they need. For example, in the United States in 2007, around 74 billion was spent on corrections. The total number of inmates in 2007 in federal, state and local lockups was around 2.5 million people. That comes to around $30,600 per inmate. Housing the approximately 500,000 people in jail in the USA awaiting trial who cannot afford bail costs $9 billion a year. Most jail inmates are petty, non-violent offenders. 48% of crimes are violent, murder, manslaughter, rape, sexual assault, robbery and others. Drug use accounts for around 22%. Poverty, meaning burglary, motor vehicle theft, fraud and other property crimes accounts for 16.7%. And public order, meaning weapons, drunk driving, court offenses, commercialized vice, morals and decency offenses, liquor law violations and other public order offenses account for around 13%. Now, imagine how giving $30,600 a year to every US citizen would reduce both crime as well as homelessness and poverty. So to poor people from Africa, Romania, US and to those across the entire world who do not have appropriate shelter, food, clothing and or live in very poor conditions, now there is a solution for you. If you commit a crime in this world, your life will be greatly improved through incarceration. If that does not sound wrong, then I do not know what does. If you had three wishes, what would they be? If I had three wishes, I believe first I would wish that everyone would treat everyone as equals. Uh, the man that has a $100,000 job is no better person than the guy that's picking up garbage on the corner for somebody. We're all the same, we're all human beings. Why can't we just help each other? That would be my first wish. And I think if everyone did that, I might not even need two more wishes. If everybody helped everybody and got along, we'd, be, we'd all be all right. Thank you very much for talking to me. <laughs> yes, sir.